Okay, as promised, as parts come off of the gold plate, I will show you. This is half of the ductwork for the uh, first section of five. It was a 10 hour print. The second section is seven hours, and that's the back half here. It is a little bit heavy, and there's a reason for that. Um, this is just a bench test system right here. So once everything is put on correctly and everything mates up and is bolted on the overall weight of this system is irrelevant because when we optimize this for a drone application the duct work obviously isn't going to be part of the issue to the point where it's going to be you know massive weight we're going to go with something, um, maybe a lightweight PLA if I can find one strong enough, but typically they never are. Uh, I do like the PLA arrow that I can use from Bamboo Lab. Not the ASA arrow, the PLA arrow. Because you can print it in the same wall thicknesses and you can take that, that weight out of there if you need to. Um, the only crucial hard parts you want to make sure are all PETG if you're going to do this. Is going to be that back stator casing, the hub, the fan itself, um, this front weight mitigation system for the hub. So this is basically just to take the front of the weight of the hub off of the central bearing to keep everything moving freely and smooth. And it's working out rather well. And then on the back side, you've seen before, we have the roller bearings that will mitigate any kind of forward force from pulling on the motor's bearings that are mounted back here so we won't have to worry about any unnecessary wear on the bearings but even though this ductwork is going to be heavy it is for the static bench test so that we can go through the voltage phases that we're going to go through for that testing and that's going to give us our results ultimately when this does go into a drone this design will differ greatly and it will be optimized for weight control and distribution but with enough strength to where we don't have to worry about things breaking. So there will be some carbon fiber tube additives and so on and so forth. It's not going to be all 3D printed, at least in regard to the body and or the duct work if necessary. Uh, so that is the plan moving forward. And as the parts come off, like I promised, I'll be showing you updates. And then as I add parts onto the machine I will, or to the fan, I will update you accordingly. And the motor is going to be on the way soon. And that's all we're waiting for.